going to be a really extraordinary experience to hear an orchestra playing the Fifth Symphony of Beethoven, interspersed with, interrupted by, overlaid by new music from four brilliant composers based on some of the initial sketches which led to the Fifth Symphony. And this whole thing combined with an orchestra consistently on the move in so many different kind of formations throughout the space. I think it'll be unlike anything anyone has ever experienced before. Now the Fifth Symphony has acres of sketches, like eight years worth of toil and struggle and self-doubt, despair, and then uh, resolution and inspiration and a sense of, of finality. Um, so it's always thought, I've always thought to myself, wouldn't it be interesting to do a performance of the Fifth Symphony, that most iconic piece, but to intersperse it with some of these written along the way that never made the final grade? Wouldn't it be interesting if you had four amazing composers who were breathing new life into these unborn children to be interspersed in and amongst the iconic symphony itself? It's really interesting to see everybody's compositional voice fused with Beethoven become this, become this one sort of whole and entity in itself. What's so wonderful is the fact that we are writing for people, not necessarily for instruments or a vocal line, which is amazing because you kind of find out all these different depths of what they're able to do and, and how you can write very specifically for that. It's a lovely exploration, I think, of this uh, composer-performer relationship that with the power orchestra has taken to a, a whole new level. So, as a contemporary composer, you can't outdo Beethoven, obviously, and there would be no point in that. It wouldn't be a creatively interesting thing to do. Much more interesting is for the four of us to think of new ways of taking the kind of DNA of Beethoven's material and really bringing our own kind of spin or our own kind of contemporary perspective to it. Yes, I think, I think we're all very different musical personalities, which makes it an extremely exciting project to be a part of. In my own work, I suppose I've looked at the harmony in Beethoven and taken perhaps fragments from the sketch work that suggest alternative textures and different directions in terms of the character of the music. I'm really focusing on um, an aspect of intimacy um, within what I'm writing and one way that I'm doing that is uh, by using music boxes um, which are really small and delicate and incorporating um, sketches that were discarded that didn't end up in the symphony. The thing that's going to make Beethoven rendering a really extraordinary experience is it's a continuation of something we've been developing for a couple of years now. The whole idea about how to create an orchestral environment where the audience are not outside it, but within it. You've got an orchestra of about 50 musicians who are choreographed into a multiplicity of different kind of formations and, 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 and permutations and, and perspectives within the space. And the audience are on their feet, constantly walking around, choosing to get close to whatever they want to get close to. So in a way, it's that once in a lifetime opportunity for any member of Joe Public to climb inside the organism, which is the orchestra. Beethoven Rendering is a piece that should absolutely speak to anyone. People who have lots of education in Beethoven, people who've never heard a note of Beethoven before. This is a visceral performance experience, a sharing where the audience are as much a part of the action as the orchestra are. Yeah, it's total immersion.